wow it's been a long time since I've been on camera but hey guess who that's right me just kidding anyways guys let me start off my intro that I don't even know how to start off but um hey guys welcome back to my channel you know yeah okay let's just let's just so first off i want to say by apologizing because i know that i keep saying that i'm gonna be on my youtube and that all this this and that i know you guys are tired of me but honestly it's just a lot of a lot of um a lot of stuff happened in the past couple of months literally and it's just overwhelming and you know I just needed a break so that's why you guys haven't seen me really active posting videos like I usually do like makeup videos even like on YouTube but um I'm back and I'm better I believe I hope so I wanted to start off the video with um a q a as promised because this is a long overdue and i just want to get it out of the way i want you guys to know the questions that you guys keep asking me so let's start off i posted a picture on instagram and you guys already blew it up so let's start with the basics so my name is valentina not valeria not whatever other names you guys think of that is with vale i don't know what else comes valeria Valerie? Valeria? That's all I think of. So my name is Valentina and my middle name is Paola. That's why people know me as Valentina Paola. And I'm not going to tell you guys my last name because it's not even <sighs> relevant. So let's start. That was question number one. Question number two. My birthday is September 3rd, 1998, which means I'm 19 years old, turning 20. And I'm a Virgo. That's two on one, so... Let's see. My ethnicity, I'm Ecuadorian and that's it. Like, I'm fully Ecuadorian. Like, my mom and dad, 100% Ecuadorian. So, I'm 100%. Even though, like, you know, I'm a little Dominican by heart. Um, so, why did... No, I'm not going to answer that. Like, I'm just going to give you a little insight. So, I know that you guys, like, stay asking me the same question about what happened between me and my ex but to keep it short and simple things don't go as planned you know nothing lasts even though we're gonna last but just kidding <laughs> anyways um you know shit happens relationships aren't perfect we definitely weren't perfect we definitely had our downfalls we definitely had a most of it was good but um, he's still in my life. He's still the father of my dog. And up until this day, we're just going along with what goes along, I guess. Like, we're going with the flow. We're not official. We're not dating. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, what is my favorite color? I don't know if I do have a favorite color. I think I've always had this favorite color since I was young, so I just keep with it. Blue and green, but I never really wear green. I bl wear blue like in my sneakers, and sometimes like in a shirt or something. I don't really like that color as much, but what I wear now is usually my color is red. That's my color because it just looks good on my skin. But I usually wear red, black, and white. Literally, those are my three colors, but... I just stick with what I've always liked, blue and green. Am I talking to anybody? Well, like I said in my previous statement, me and my ex are dating. We are officially broken up. We do talk to other people. You know, it's nothing serious. I'm not taking anybody serious because I my heart is with Brian. I can't, I can't believe I said that on camera. But whatever. So, you know... Again, I'm going with whatever floats my boat. What are my plans for the future? My plans for the future... I see my future the way it is right now. Just me chilling, doing my YouTube, doing my Instagram, like doing my modeling, all of that. You know, 
in the future like i've always like i've been having baby fever for a minute now so hopefully you know you know with whatever just kidding haha <laughs> do i love myself i completely love myself thank you what is what has been my biggest struggle of my life so far in life so far you know i'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys my pity story because everybody has a story everybody has a story behind their name but um am i everybody goes through it you gotta go through it to get through it tell me now tell me exactly all right my hardest thing i went through in my life okay i just want to put it out there because literally when i think of like the hardest thing i went through in my life was my breakup like my breakup was bad because i love the kid and like shit happened like so quick and it's just i was really hurting but i had someone there with me helping me even though he's not in my life anymore cough cough haha <laughs> but that was the hardest thing i've actually went through i've never really went through anything dramatic or traumatizing for me to say like that's the hardest thing for me to go through because i have a roof over my head i eat every day so you know okay let's see favorite show it would have to be the vampire diaries and gossip girl guys my nail broke don't make fun of it it's these two <laughs> um Did I graduate high school? Yes, I did. So, I get this question a lot, but I'm going to answer my tattoo first. So, I literally have been fiending to get a tattoo for like a month now or so, or a month or two or so. But my first tattoo that I really, really wanted was like an under chest tattoo. And it, it was really, really cute at the moment. And then I went to Florida and I went to Miami with a couple of friends. I remember my best friend and my other close friend and you know i was ready like i had the money like it was already planned like i just needed to go to get a tattoo like i need to, to find somewhere to go so we ended up going to miami like south beach miami and there was a shop and i thought it was really really dope like they had really dope pictures and everything and it wasn't like the money or nothing like it was what i exactly pictured how much it was but he scared the shit out of me like you see how small i am i weigh like 80 pounds i'm all bones and he literally said it's gonna really hurt and you might just end up like passing out or like some shit like that and i really got scared and i didn't want to do it because like how are you gonna do that like, you could have just lied to me you know because when i got this he told me it wasn't gonna hurt so you know i was like i was like motivated i don't know so yesterday i don't even know when i'm gonna post this it's probably gonna be next week but not so long ago like this was literally i got it yesterday and i don't know i've always had like this quote and it says with pain comes strength and that's exactly what it says with pain comes strength and like there's a little symbol that i think represents strength so that's what my tattoo says and i completely love it it's my first tattoo and it did hurt because my collarbone is right there and it's like stabbing into your bone but um overall if you get a first tattoo like make it small make it like something like writing to know how it feels before you want to get a tattoo but after that it really motivated me to get a tattoo down here and i will and i was supposed to get it done that same yesterday the same day but the printer stopped working or like there was no ink in the printer so i'm gonna get it though i'm gonna get it tomorrow so hopefully by this by the time this video is uploaded i'm already have my tattoo Okay. so next question um i've always lived with my father i've never had my actual biological mother in the picture um i'm not gonna get into detail with that because i want to save that for another video because i feel like that's something personal and a sensitive topic when i talk about it sometimes but i feel like you guys always tell me like i'm sorry like about your mom blah 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 like that she wasn't in the picture and honestly don't say sorry because it's nobody's fault but hers so i grew up with my father you know he raised 
three kids mostly on his own not on his own he had my grandma of course to help and my sister paula you know her you guys know her but um what happened long story short she got deported when i was at least eight months i believe and i've never seen her ever since i picture like when i picture like old times my grandma used to take us to see her but she was like i think hospitalized or in jail one of those two but again that's for another story but i don't remember much i don't remember going to see her i saw pictures of me seeing her like when we took pictures but i have no memory of her i don't even know like if i picture her now i can only picture her through what i see like through pictures so um she was never in my life she's tried to be she's in my older sister's life my older youngest sister she's i think 24 23 and i think she was like four or five when i was just born she's four years so she was four so she has like a she has like memory of her you know like of her mom like being there i don't so my sister paula she's always been a mother figure to me i was always attached to her so i picture so if anybody like deserves the mom title it definitely belongs to my sister Paola because like I said before and if you guys don't agree with me you guys don't agree with me but if you guys have never been through something you guys can't tell me like you know what I'm talking about like you have to experience for you to agree with me for example like if you've never loved you don't know how it hurts when like it's a when you guys break up so my point exactly like you've maybe a couple of you have but you haven't been what I've been through with my mother for you guys to disagree with what I'm saying. So with that being said, you don't, like she doesn't automatically get the mom title just because she gave birth to me. She's my birth giver and she's my biological mother, but she's not mother, you know? My mother would practically be my sister Paola because she raised me, she changed my diapers, she loved me, she cared for me, she took me out, you know, she bought me clothes, she bought me like half the things, she bought me what I wanted, she gave me freedom. So, like I said, you just don't get the mom title just because you gave birth to your child. So again, I don't consider my mother, my biological mother, my mother, I believe. She's my birth giver and I know that my sister's probably watching, like all my sisters are probably watching this and like I know that one of them is gonna like give me attitude because she doesn't believe in the same thing I believe. But um, that's how I feel and that's how I'm always gonna feel and maybe in the future I'll visit her or something but I know that right now like I don't want to see her, I don't, want to, I don't want nothing to do with her, I don't wish her nothing bad but it's just she's a stranger to me and I feel nothing towards her and that's pretty much it. I'm actually, I'm really a daddy's girl. Like, I love my father. I would do anything for him. <sighs> I feel like I talked a lot, but that's how, that's the story of, like, why I don't fuck with my mom or why she's not in the picture. But like I said, that will be for another video. <sighs> okay. How are you so confident? Okay, so this question I get a lot. If I'm being honest, like when I was younger, I never really was as confident. Like I always had like a little confidence in me because I knew I was pretty. Like I knew that I was pretty. You know, I always, not that I'm saying it to like sound like I'm bragging or nothing or to sound like I'm conceited because I'm really not, but like I've always had guys, you know, like who liked me, who had crushes on me, which made me feel like, you know, like, I'm confident, like, you know, like, I got this, like, you know? But when I was in middle school, I used to get bullied. Not, like, bully, bully, like, oh, my God, like, I'm going to kill myself. Not that that's a joke, because I take that serious, too, because I hate bullies. But, um, you know, I was a new girl and into a new school, and everybody, like, knew each other because the, high, the middle school that I went to, it was like a K through 8 and the middle the elementary school that I went to was K through 5th grade. So I graduated in 5th grade or 6th, I don't remember, 6th grade. And then I went to middle school and I went to a different middle school from what, from the middle school that everybody else went to. So I don't know, I don't know why I picked that school. I wanted to be fancy and it was an art school and I love to dance so I was also in the dance program. 
But um, like I said, I was bullied a little bit. You know, people took advantage of me because I was a new girl and because I was skinny and you know, I I look like I couldn't fight. But let me tell you, whatever. So I was always um a little, I had like a little like insecurity about myself here and there. Like I was too skinny or like my teeth weren't straight or I didn't have like a nice body type. But over the years, like, like when I grew, I guess when I hit puberty, like, I realized, like, you know, I'm a badass bitch. Like, what do I need to be insecure about? Because, just kidding. <sighs> um, but yeah, I just feel like you have to love yourself, you know? You have to talk to yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now. And just, you know, kiss yourself. Love yourself. That's pretty much exactly what it is. You have to love yourself before you love anybody else, to be honest. If you don't love yourself, then how are you going to love anybody else? So, okay. So I get this question a lot, too. What happened with Maria and Otto? So let's start off with Maria. Maria, I fucked up in our friendship because I chose somebody else. I chose to be friends with a guy than, be friends with, than to be loyal to my best friend. And you know, everything, I'm not going to get into it because it's not like I want to put her business out there or my business out there. But we stopped being friends mainly because of me, not because of her, you know. She had like a little fault in it, but it was mainly me and I fucked up and I regret it up until this day. And like, I still want to be her friend because when I think about it, like, I really like had nobody but her. And I regret it. And if I could go back to that time that we fought, I would have handled it way differently now. But you know, you, I guess you have to lose somebody to realize that you do love them, you know? And I love Maria and you guys can send this to her because I will say it till I die. I will always love Maria, even if it's from a distance. Like, I will always, like, if she if she ever needed me or if she ever was in trouble, like, I'd be there for her. And I, like, I wish, like, it was the other way around, but it's not because I reached out to her. And it's just, we're not going to be friends. Maybe not right now. Maybe in the future. Hopefully, like, when she has kids, like, I'll go visit her. Like, it's just, we'll be grown-ups, you know. But that's pretty much it. I have love for her, though. So now we're Adam. I also have love for Otto, like I'm always going to have love for Otto and you know I just really wish that our friendship didn't go the way it went down also because he believed in a rumor that wasn't true and instead of believing his best friend he believes somebody else so I wasn't going to admit to something that I didn't do and he took it the wrong way and didn't want to fuck with me because of that but I don't think he was my best friend because best friends, like, they wouldn't believe a lie. If you're, like, like, if I have a best friend and you tell me, like, no, like, straight up, like, I'm being that ass, like, on everything, like, I didn't do that or I didn't say that. Like, I'm gonna believe you because you're my best friend. Like, why wouldn't I believe you? So the fact that he didn't do that is just, maybe we weren't really best friends. Maybe, you know? I see him doing his thing, he finally unblocked me from Instagram, so um, I have nothing to say to him because when I see him, he grills the shit out of me and I feel like that's disrespectful because you once loved me and I still love you and I wish you nothing but the best and here and there, like I miss you, I miss your jokes. I feel like I'm talking to him right now, but I'm not, but um, yeah. I don't know how I would be friends with Otto because he did hurt me because he knew exactly what I was going Wow, I think I'm about to cry because just thinking about it he knew exactly the, what I was going through and I knew exactly what he was going through too because we were both going through like we were both going through this similar conflict, whatever and he was there, he helped me but then it just like I had, wow, I'm actually crying. Oh my goodness, no. That's crazy. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Okay, whatever. So, I needed him and he wasn't there. So, I don't think I can ever forgive him for that. 
But I do wish him nothing but the best, you know. Let's move on. What is the reason behind my tattoo? Well, I should have put this with the other question, but well. The reason behind my tattoo, I feel like I haven't gone through like hell. But I've gone through a couple of things, you know, that as a kid I shouldn't have. You know, I wish that, you know, I do wish that my mom was in the picture, you know. I wish that I did have my mom and dad. I wish that things would have went differently and maybe I was raised differently. But, um, I just feel like I went through a lot of pain. But that makes me strong. Like, it makes me a better person, like... You know, it doesn't, it knocks me down, but it brings me right back up and stronger than when I was before. So that's why I feel like it's really, it like really suits me. My makeup is running. Okay. Where do I get most of my clothes? My, most of my clothes I get from Fashion Nova, OT, OOTD Fash, Forever 21, PacSun. Those are my favorite places to shop, of course. Okay, I get this question so much. I do not have a skincare routine. If I had a skincare routine, I would definitely share it with you guys, but I don't. And I'm sorry that I don't. But, yeah. Um, it's called Minding Your Business and Staying on a Drama Free. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't take me serious. But um, I don't have a skincare routine. And if I do find one, I'd be happy to share it with you guys. But I don't. And I don't want to lie to you guys and promote something that I'm not doing, you know? Okay. What is my biggest regret? Losing Maria as a friend. Right now, it's losing Maria as a friend. That's my biggest regret. Do I regret dating my ex? I don't regret dating Brian. He is the best thing that's happened to me. Like, he makes my world spin, but like in a good way. Like, he's taking me out on so many, like, adventures. Like, I've never been out of the state. And for a second vacation, we went to Cancun. Like, he was great. You know, when I think of him, I think of mostly the good things that we had. Because he, I would have to say, is my first love. Like, my first actual love. Because, like, every boyfriend that I had before, you know, they were, like, they weren't as intimate as I was with Brian. And I don't mean it like sexually either. I meant like chemistry wise, like we could go days with each other and not get bored of each other. We'd get annoyed of each other, yeah, because you know he's annoying and I'm annoying, but like bored, we wouldn't get bored. And I loved it. So I, I would never regret him. I would never say nothing bad upon him, even if he did something wrong, because he's not perfect, but I won't sit here and talk bad upon him because i love him and i wouldn't do that for somebody that i love and yes you guys heard right like i still love him and i still care for him you know time will tell what will go on so how many kids i want i want two uh, what happened to my puppy lucky still alive i will be dead Okay, so Lucky is still alive. The camera cut. I don't even know why. But um, he lives with Brian because I can't have dogs in my apartment. Sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, he's good. Okay, sorry. Okay, so my last question that I'm going to do is how does it feel to live alone? At first, I didn't really like the idea of living alone. Because I practically live with my ex. But um, I got really used to it. Yeah, I love this side. Not the. I love that I can do whatever I want. You know, like I love my room. Like I love my little space that I have. And I love that I can come home, leave, and not hear nobody tell me nothing. You know, and it brings up like responsibility too because I have to pay rent, I have to pay bills. And my sisters always told me that. Like, like. I'm gonna hit the real world and I think I've hit it just a bit but um 
it's great i love it you know from me that i'm 19 years old to say that i'm living on my own and paying my own bills and buying my own things it feels great because as a kid i never really got what i wanted like i've always wanted like the new technology that was out like iphones or like laptops or like cameras like i never really had my father never really like gave it to us not because like we were broke but you know like money was tight and we had to like have boundaries you know we couldn't buy whatever we wanted and it was a household of two other kids including me so we weren't spoiled we got we we got used to like getting one thing on our birthday or like one thing on christmas like we weren't like you know used to getting so many new things and if we got new things like we were very grateful but i can practically say that i'm so happy that i bought half the shit that i bought today because i can never picture myself without it like with it i mean when i was younger so and i really have to thank you guys for that because you guys made me who I am and although I don't say it and yeah it might be corny and like I just I don't know I can't show my affection sometimes so but I want you guys to know that deep down in my heart I really do love you guys and I hope you guys still love me and I hope that we just keep growing because honestly this is like fun like you know this is great. This is always what, this is exactly what I wanted. Like, this. So, I got it and I'm not going to take it for granted and I love you guys. So, I'm going to close out the video like that because I feel like I've been talking for so long and I don't think you guys want to continue hearing me. But, um, there goes my q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Trust me, I'm going to be back with the videos. I'm going to be back with hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, challenges, everything. So just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Until next time.